what I'm doing here is ruining the edge on this lovely little Bocker pocket knife, carbon steel pocket knife, so that it won't cut paper. Just to show you, oh damn, it's still cutting paper, <laughs> but not too good. Anyway, here we go. Righto guys, well what you saw in the last frames was me trying to take the edge off this knife, uh, this beautiful little Bocker pocket knife carbon steel on the clip blade uh, so that it wouldn't cut paper and it did before. Oh god, it's really, uh, there's bits of it that are sharp but it's ripping the paper or not even, a, not even getting to it. So what I'd like to do is go through and in a sped up fashion uh, show you this beautiful work sharp uh, guided sharpening system how it works uh, in continuity so that you can see this edge come back on this uh, this knife so what I'll put it to do is put the um, the, the work sharp together uh, put the paper away I'll come up to the camera and zoom in a bit so you can really see it well and all its features uh, while I do the sharpening. Okay, so here we have the workshop sharp guided sharpening system. It's a beautiful tool made in America. It has a little platform which is removable, uh, which you can set at either 17 or 20 degrees for the angle of your uh, the edge you want on your blade. Uh, you can. Uh, leave it uh, so that it sits in its little mounting cradle and pivots for curved blades like this one or you can lock it in place for straight blades. Now what I'm going to do is start with one of the two diamond hones which is mountable by a mag magnet here in the centre. Uh, it's a coarse diamond hone uh, and we have a fine one to finish it and also at the end uh, we have a beautiful little ceramic sharpener that uh, really makes the edge sing. So let's start. I've set it up on the uh, 17 degree setting here as you can see uh, which is quite a fine setting and we'll just go through and uh, sharpen this blade till it's uh, getting really sharp and we'll cut paper. So here we go. Better take it off the uh, straight setting, oh, sorry, the, uh, the fixed setting and use the curved setting. Here we go. What we do is we rest the blade surface on the 17 degree part and then come down and meet the diamond hone. Now in the workshop videos they suggest going all on one side until you get a wire edge. I believe what you can do with that is take too much off one side and then just not enough on the other till you eliminate the wire edge so you've got a wonky sort of, if you like, 17 degrees on one side and less on the other. But anyway, we'll persist and see how it comes along. Okay, that's feeling pretty good. What I'm going to do now is remove the uh, coarse grit diamond hone and put on the fine grit and repeat the operation. We'll speed it up a bit now. Now that's getting a pretty nice edge on it. I'd be happy just to take that into the field, I think. What I'll do, it's getting there, but it's still ripping a little. Oh, that's 
looking excellent. Okay, this is looking pretty good. Um, what I'm going to do though now is take the main sharpening cradle out and put in the beautiful little ceramic hone. Now, it has a coarse setting, a fine setting again, and also a setting here that you'll see that is grooved for fish hooks. So we'll start on the coarse setting. It's a little bit coarser angle than 17 degrees, you'll notice. Now, as with all sharp objects, you should be very careful that you keep your fingers away so you don't end up with sliced ham when you don't want it. Then what we'll do, take it round to the fine side and you're really refining that edge and getting something like a convex edge on there. I'll grab another piece of paper, or use the same piece of paper. I hope you can see that. This has just done a beautiful job of sharpening this knife. Now, you can go uh, one step simpler than the guided sharpening system from WorkSharp. I'll bring him over here so you can see it again. With its uh, second cradle and the two different tones, WorkSharp also produce a guided field sharpener, which only sharpens at 20 degrees, but again, it has a coarse diamond hone, a fine diamond hone, the same sort of system for the uh, for the ceramic hone and in addition you've got a beautiful little strop here a leather rouge impregnated strop which will really finish off a blade beautifully so let's try that again that's the uh, the field sharpener there and the guided sharpener for your workshop Let's get another piece of paper. Oh my god. This is really something. So, to wrap up, WorkSharp makes a range of excellent sharpening products in addition to the guided sharpening system and the guided field sharpener. Their Ken Onion Edition electric belt sharpener was reviewed in Sporting Shooter a while back. Check out their website for all their other products.